machines, a 21st century necessity. The driving force powering every aspect of the modern world. From startling brain power to outright brawn, we depend on these modern wonders to shape life as we know it. We're going under the skin of a mechanical marvel, the best of the best, to see what makes supreme machines. We know more about the surface of Mars than the depths of Earth's oceans. One machine has been changing that. Meet Alvin. For over 50 years, this little submersible has been taking scientists to the bottom of our oceans. It's helped solve mysteries about how the Earth works and introduced us to an alien world on our own planet. Launched in 1964, Alvin might be over 50 years old, but for this engineering masterpiece, age really is just a number. Fresh from an extreme $40 million makeover, Alvin can now dive deeper and for longer than ever before. But there's a lot of science involved in just getting down into the deep. Normal humans struggle to get past 10 meters, the height of a three-story house. Specially trained freedivers can reach 100 meters. That's about the height of the Statue of Liberty. Highly paid industrial divers can reach 500 meters. That's deeper than the Empire State Building is tall. Sperm whales can reach two and a half thousand meters. That's as far as a 20 second skydive. 30 years ago, Alvin reached the most famous shipwreck of all time, nearly four kilometers deep in the Atlantic Ocean. Underwater archeologist Bob Ballard, riding an Alvin, discovered the Titanic and captured some of the most iconic images of the 20th century. Exploring the deep requires exotic materials and exceptional engineering. Every piece of Alvin has a story to tell and a supporting cast of machines involved. Digging. Crushing. Melting. Welding. Alvin's $40 million upgrade means it can now reach six and a half thousand meters. That's really deep where every square meter is under huge pressure. The same weight as Stonehenge, 10 times over. So Alvin's cabin needs to be really strong, like a tank. Tanks are designed to survive anything. But underwater, the colossal pressure doesn't just come from above. It comes at you from every direction crushing corners and warping edges. Spheres have no edges or corners, so Albin's cabin is spherical, the perfect shape for resisting <laughs> deep water pressure. The cabin's shape isn't the only consideration. It's also got to be made of something ridiculously strong. Alvin's engineers knew there was only one metal for the job, titanium. Titanium! Known as the Metal of the Gods. Not a heavy metal band, actually, oh. but because titanium was named after Greek gods. It's also pretty easy to find, because it's the ninth most common element in the Earth's crust. Ninth most common element! But you have to dig up a lot of dirt to get at even a little bit of titanium. The perfect machine for the job is a dredge. The dredge! This sand gobbling monster can dig up to a thousand tons of titanium ore every hour. At the business end is a rasping toothed head that chomps away at the sand in front of the barge. Behind the cutter head is a powerful suction pump that sucks up titanium ore and sends it down a pipe to another barge. Because the dredge is floating, it can be cranked to and fro, 
eating away at the sandbank with every pass. Kind of like this tortoise eating a watermelon. Back at the titanium mine, rich sands are piled high. But the journey to become titanium metal is far from over. We've only been able to make titanium for 60 years. If titanium and its ore were in a relationship, you'd say it's complicated and kind of a secret that we can't show you. Except the last part, when titanium metal emerges as a fragile, flaky, disappointing sponge. Melt all the crispy flakes of titanium together though, and you get a glowing ball of red hot metal, ready to become a submarine. How do you turn a ball of hot titanium into a submarine? With a hydraulic press. Hydraulic press! When it comes to beating huge hunks of metal into shape, power is your friend. Hydraulic presses do the work of a blacksmith's hammer, but on a gigantic scale. Each of its massive legs is a hydraulic piston, capable of exerting colossal force. When all four pistons press down at the same time, they squash whatever is in their way with thousands of tons of pressure. The press needed to forge Alvin beats down on seven tons of hot titanium, needing it thinner and wider, just like making a pizza. hydraulic press then forces the titanium pizza base into a mold, sculpting half the spherical cabin. All the pounding and shaping actually stresses out the titanium. The next step is to help it relax. And the best place to relax if you're half an ultra deep diving submarine cabin is in a furnace. When the metal is completely de-stressed, it's hauled out of the furnace and dunked straight into a cool bath. Titanium is strongest when it's relaxed, and quickly cooling it down locks it into its most chilled out state. Which reminds me of this rabbit taking a bath in a sink. The next time this steaming sphere goes underwater, it'll contain some very excited scientists on a mission to the deep. Thanks to a cast of machines bristling with brute force, Alvin's ultra-strong new cabin has been wrestled into existence. Coming up in the story of Alvin the Submersible, firing electrons at the speed of light, pressure testing, liquid sand, X-raying rocks, floating foam, and puffing rice. Still to come on Supreme machines.